Hey everyone, good to see you. Thank you once again for stopping by and checking these videos out. Much appreciated. Gonna get into a tune. I hope I do it some justice and get it at least close. Uh, I know I've played it live a few times, played it this way, and I think it'll go over well in the acoustic guitar. If not, you'll let me know, I'm sure, and, and we'll go from there. Uh, Elvis, Elvis Costello, What's So Funny About Peace, Love, and Understanding. Um, really just a kind of fun, bouncy tune to play. Uh, um, as far as the chords, G, C, E minor, A, D, C is in there, and then there's a walk down, uh, walk down in there. But uh, let's get into it. I have, you know, let's have some fun with this. If you haven't done so, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Um, and here we go. So we're going to start off on a G, and I'm playing the G in this tune, typically uh, pinky down here on this note, ring finger up here, and then I've got my uh, middle finger on this note here, leaving the B string open. I just think it sounds a little bit fuller. And the chords are going to be the G to the C. All right. So from that G, there's a transition note that I'm doing. I'm kind of going from the G to the suspended four right there. I'm hitting that C note ahead of time, and then I'm going into the C chord. Okay, so really a lot of these fingers are kind of staying. I'm leaving this here as well uh, when I play that C chord. So that G and C uh, work together several different points in this tune, so keep, keep that in mind. And then we're going to get into the, uh, so I guess the, the, the verse would start that way. Play that twice. And the next progression is four chords. E minor to the A to the D to a C. Okay, so... Continue again. I'm going to get into the chorus. And I'm kind of really cruising through this because I know you can rewind this. I want to give you the chords. Uh, you know, try to keep these videos as tight as we can here. Because um, I know folks don't like to hear me yapping. So let's get into it. So the chorus is going to be a G chord. A D with the F sharp in the bass. Now the bass chord is an E, but I'm fairly certain instead of an E minor, it's a full E. E major. I could be wrong. That's what I'm hearing. And then a C. What happened there? That's not the chord, but we're going to try it again. There's the E. Okay, so it's a G. The D with the F sharp in the bass. I play the E major, could be wrong, but that's what I hear, to a C, back to the G, to the D, to the E minor, to the A, again, G, to the D, to the E minor, to the D, which is your transition back to that G and C pattern. That G and C, as well as the A minor, A, D and C we did for the verse. Same thing you're going to play um, for the solo, under the solo, instead of the solo. Um, e minor. To the A. To the D. To the C. And that's the tune, basically. Now, at the very end, there's going to be one more piece with the chorus. We've got, and again, we've gone over it. We're gonna, there's one line we're gonna repeat though. So we've got the G, D with the F sharp in the bass, to the E, to the C, to the G, to the D, E minor, to the A. What's so fun about You're playing the line with that A twice. And then the last one. Hold 
hold that, we're omitting that last D, and we go right back into the G. And that's really how I've done it before, so you can break this up any way you like. Uh, I think the key to the song is that G and C. Alright, there you go. Enjoy. I'll see you on the next one.